Good afternoon. It's Tuesday, October 18th, 2011. I'm Jamie Chadwick with your Erner Berry Market Report, sponsored by NAMP's new line of English Spanish meat cup posters, now larger and fully laminated. Today, foodmarket.com is reporting that Brazil's public prosecutor's office said on Monday that Brazilian beef producer JBS has violated an accord in which it had agreed not to buy cattle from irregular ranches. You can get more on this story and other news from the center of the plate at foodmarket.com. Now let's check out the markets. For this week's USDA National Shell Egg Inventory Report, here's Terrence Wells. Yesterday's National Shell Egg Inventory was reported by the USDA to be 1,058.4 cases, which is up 1.4% from last week's figure and also up 17.6% from the same week last year. Breaking inventory has declined 4.5% this week, totaling 271,000 cases. The total shell egg inventory is 1,329.4,000 cases, representing a mere 0.2% increase from the past week's total. Inventory totals from last year are skewed due to the shell egg recall. However, some producers have noted increased production in the anticipation of the Thanksgiving demand. I'm Terrence Wells with this week's National Shell Egg Inventory Report. Now back to you, Jamie. Every week, Erner Berry scours retail circulars in key metropolitan areas and files that information into our Comtel database. That information is then recapped, displayed, and charted so that you can identify retail trends. One important metric that we track is the Retail Activity Index. The Retail Activity Index quantifies consumer buying activities on feature for a particular commodity or item. So let's explore the different product areas. Taking a look at the broader retail index for different commodity groups, the opportunity to buy beef items on ad is down slightly from last week, while chicken featuring is up from last week's number. Egg features are up 56% on the week. Lamb, veal, and turkey retail featuring is fairly steady, while pork and seafood are posting some of the largest increases for the week. Retail poultry activity is somewhat mixed for both chicken and turkey, while chicken features have largely included boneless, skinless breast meat and whole roasters as the colder weather begins to creep in. For turkey, Northeast outlets have started to promote their whole bird giveaways as Thanksgiving needs hit the streets. Retail egg featuring is mixed this week due to the relatively high market levels we are experiencing for this time of year. Prices typically experience a lull prior to the start of the holiday season. However, this year they have remained stable at their highest mid-October prices in the last 10 years. This has limited the amount of new ads in place for some, while others continue to feature, expecting prices to only get higher as we head into November. It is unclear to this point how feature activity will be affected into the holiday season. <coughs> Retail beef activity this week continues to shift to beef being sold in the form of roasts, which commonly favors end cut items, including chucks and rounds. Monthly average values for the chuck and rounds have steadily increased after reaching their year-to-date lows in July. This week's retail pork spotlight is focused on the tenderloin. According to Erner Berry's retail features, pork tenderloins are being featured at over three times as many stores as last week. A result of steep decline from all-time highs reached in the summer, tenderloins are now drawing retailer interest as the price point is once again attractive. That wraps up Erner Berry's Market Report, brought to you today by NAMP's new line of English Spanish meat cup posters, featuring nine new designs of crisp, clear color images of pork, veal, lamb, and beef cuts, now in a larger and fully laminated display. Contact Erner Berry today to order your set of NAMP's meat cup posters and ask about the new five poster beef cut series, featuring in depth displays of sirloin, rib, round loin, and chuck cuts. Visit us online at shop.earnerberry.com or contact us at 800-932-0617.